NBA spokesperson Mike Bass said, quote, while Commissioner Silver has said we are interested in better understanding the safety and efficacy of medical marijuana, our position remains unchanged regarding the use by current NBA players of marijuana for recreational mm. purposes. And the reason I think that was part of the statement is later in the documentary, um, Stern talks about how in states where marijuana is legal for recreational purposes, he thinks sports leagues should let players use it in those states. So two pretty separate issues, obviously. Let's talk about medical marijuana and, and uh, maybe it's place in the NBA or well, in sports, other sports leagues. I think the misconception is, you know, you look at somebody, they're smoking a joint or whatever, but it's different ways to consume it. Mm -hmm. You know, they have different oils that are used for pain. They have different pills that are anti-inflammatory. So there is some medical benefits. You know, I had a chance to really study this industry and, and learn some different things. You know, I'm a good friend with Al. Mm -hmm. I've talked to him. So there's different ways. You know, people just look at it as a guy on the street corner smoking marijuana just to, for fun. But there's a middle, medical benefits to this that a lot of people are unaware of. And I think we need to get over it. Yeah, I mean, I, I know Al and, and what he went through in his career with the four knee surgeries, having the staph infections, and he got on medical marijuana to uh, relieve the pain and it helped him tremendously. Uh, you look back, a lot of these guys taking painkillers to Alonzo. Yeah, I was just about to say that. What happened to Alonzo Morning? Mm -hmm. Damaging the kidneys, and, and this doesn't have that type of effect. I wish I would have got on it because I had <laughs> I had microfracture surgery. And it took me two years before I started, okay. you know, feeling back normal, to, you know, my normal self. Um, so I, I think there is a tremendous benefit for allowing this in our league. Uh, yeah, and when you have someone like David Stern be the one to bring that up. I think that really gives the conversation more weight than in a weird way. So Al never had any problems in his career. Al's got this and people kind of like, well, you're a player, of course. But when the commissioner says it, mm -hmm. now it's like, whoa, or the yeah. former commissioner, whoa. Mm -hmm. But I do want to point out one thing in that interview. <laughs> commissioner Stern's sitting here talking about, oh, uh, we put in the law because players are saying to us that, oh, there are guys coming out and smoking. I was like, wait, hold on. This is basically Commissioner Stern right here. I love you with the analog. <laughs> We're back to a means analog beams. This is going to say, uh, me, <laughs> him saying me, I should tell the people that the, the, these marijuana rules are wrong. Also me. I should blame the players for the reason why we have them in the first place. <laughs> Come, Come on, on, man. Take credit for it. Don't, don't put you it on the players. You probably had one sitting right there in front of them. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> no comment. I'm gonna just I'm gonna just move on from that like this. 